Hi guys, welcome back. It's Thursday, so I'm back with another video. If you're new here, my name is Melissa Crafter and I create custom epoxy free tumblers along with other crafts. This week's video, I'm going to be showing you how I put this leopard print vinyl wrap on this beer can glass. To make this, I use Tech Wrap's Opal Adhesive Vinyl, which gives this super cool color shift depending on the lighting. So that is something that you're interested in, please continue watching. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. So jumping right in, I'm here on Cricut Design Space on a blank canvas and I am going to head over to Etsy and I did purchase this file here. It is a 16 ounce beer can or Libby glass can wrap. It is already pre-sized to fit the 16 ounce glass. The shop name is Billy L. Co. and that's the name there of the file. It was $2.17 and I bought it and I downloaded it to my computer. Now back to Cricut Design Space, I'm going to hit upload and upload my file. This file comes in SVG and PNG, but I'm going to be using the SVG cut file. For some reason, this file came separated like this. So I'm going to highlight the entire thing and click well down at the bottom. That's going to make it one full cut. Now this is precise to fit a 16 ounce beer can glass. So this here is a good size, 9.407 by 4.331. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click make it and send it off to my Cricut. So here are the opal adhesive vinyls that TechRap offers on their website. You can find them at techraftcraft.com. I will link their website down below in the video description. I do have a discount code with TechRap. You can use promo code MelissaCrafter10 at checkout for 10% off of your order. These opal adhesive vinyls are super pretty and they have a super cool color shift that changes depending on the lighting. So here's the one that I'm going to be using for this cup. This one here is the opal white. All tech wrap vinyl comes with this clear protective sheet on it that protects it from getting scratched before you use it. You do want to remove that before you cut your decal. So here I'm going to load my tech wrap standard tag cutting mat with my vinyl. I am going to make sure that my vinyl here aligns with my mat on Cricut Design Space, that way my decal will cut within my vinyl. Here I'm making sure to remove that clear protective sheet. So here is my Cricut Explore Air 2 cutting out my vinyl decal. You can use TechRap vinyl on any kind of cutting machine. I do have my cut setting on custom and I have it on holographic vinyl with the pressure on the blade on more. So here my cutting machine has cut out my vinyl decal. So now I'm going to weed out the excess vinyl. To do that I'm going to be using my tech wrap weeding pen. I really love this weeding pen. It has a sharp stainless steel tip that allows precise weeding down to the smallest detail. You can find this weeding pen on the Tech Wrap website. I'll link it down below in the video description. I'm going to go in on one of the corners here and begin to remove the excess vinyl. So here is my full wrap ready to be placed onto my cup. So here are the cups that I'm going to be using. These are 16 ounce beer can glass cups or Libby glass. I did purchase these off Amazon. I'll link them down below in the video description. 
TechWrap also sells these. I'll link those down below as well. I am going to go in with an alcohol prep pad and clean my cup just to make sure that my vinyl decal has a good surface to adhere well to. I am then going to take a piece of transfer tape and I'm going to now add it onto my vinyl decal. I'm going to add a piece of it here and then I'm going to use my tech wrap squeegee and squeegee on the rest of my transfer tape onto my vinyl decal. I am now going to remove the backing off my vinyl. So here is my decal ready to be applied onto my cup. I am going to use a piece of parchment paper and I'm going to put it underneath my decal. I am going to leave a little bit of it exposed on the left hand side here without um, parchment paper underneath. I am going to adhere that part that I left exposed and I'm going to wrap my decal all the way around my cup with the parchment paper underneath. Just to make sure that my decal is going to align as it should, you can see through the parchment paper and your decal won't stick on to the parchment paper. I like to do this when working with full wrap vinyl decals to ensure that my vinyl is going to align as it should and I'm not going to have any overlapping where both of my vinyl decal ends meet. If it aligns well, I begin to slowly remove the parchment paper from underneath and adhere the rest of my vinyl decal onto my cup. Using my tech wrap squeegee, I'm just going all the way around on my cup, pressing down, making sure that my decal adheres on well to my cup. And last, I'm going to remove my transfer tape from my vinyl decal. The transfer tape that I'm using is the Tech Wrap Matte Transfer Tape. I really like it because it removes super smoothly and it doesn't leave any sticky residue behind. So here is how my cup turned out. I did purchase this bamboo lid and glass straw from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link them down below in the video description. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do upload a new video every Thursday. Also, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is melissacrafter00. I do post on there daily, so make sure you give me a follow. Thank you guys so much for watching.